Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction and today I want to go over with you guys four exercises in particular that you want to be wary of doing with regards to preventing disc bulges and disc herniations in particular because if you don't know what I'm talking about with regards to those two things, disc bulges and herniations, pretty much with your spine you have your vertebral column and you have those bones stacked up on top of one another and in between each intervertebral bone you have an intervertebral disc and that helps to give you height and add shock absorption and things like that and within each disc you got an inner GUI layer called the nucleus pulposus and you got a harder outer layer called the annulus fibrosus and so with a disc bulge that inner GUI layer is pushing out more on that outer layer so that outer layer begins to bulge and with the herniation that inner layer it actually breaks through that outer layer and then it can begin to press on nerves that come out of your spine and those nerves they can then become irritated and you can get nerve symptoms traveling all the way down with that distribution pathway so you can get symptoms of sciatica where you get that nerve pain going all the way down one leg potentially so that's not going to be a good thing so you don't want disc herniations to happen those are where you can really get the symptoms with disc bulges many people have them but there's no symptoms you could have them Many, many of you watching will have them just from slouching in your chair a lot. If you slouch in your chair a lot, you could get those disc bulges over time. So if you're doing that a lot, you want to stop always slouching in your chair. It's just not a good posture because when you're doing that, that there's more pressure on your discs and that inner layer is going to be pushing out back more into that outer layer. So over time, you get disc bulges from always doing that and even a herniation. So that's one posture you want to avoid. But anyways, let me go into four exercises that are gonna relate to this. So exercise one is the seated ab crunch machine. You wanna be wary of that machine because when you're doing that, you're sitting down. So when you sit, there's more pressure in your disc. And then you're also having that resistance when you crunch on top of that. So all that resistance when you crunch, that's more pressure going into the back of your disc. So if you already have a disc bulge in particular, this could be the exercise that leads to a full blown disc herniation. So you want to definitely be wary of doing the seated ab crunch exercise. It's just not a very good exercise to, to do. If you're going to do crunches, do them on the ground. It's just much better for your spine. So if you are going to do crunches, don't do them sitting, do them on the ground. That's the first exercise. The other two I'm about to mention, these are very good exercises, but many people do them wrong. And these, this is in regards to deadlifts and squats because many people, when they do these exercises, they lose, the, they make their lower back pretty much round. And that's definitely not good with all that weight that your spine is supporting. So if you're rounding on squats, or otherwise known as butt wanking, if you're doing that, that's a lot more pressure there, a lot more pressure in your disc, you get a herniation from that. So you want to keep a neutral spine, keep a straight spine, that looks the same thing. Don't round your back, keep a straight spine. So. For example, many people in the deadlift, I'm gonna give you a mistake that many of you could be doing. What, you, what you, many people do is they pull in the immediate, in, right after, for in starting the deadlift, they start out the exercise pulling. You should really be pushing from your legs and then pulling because if you start the exercise pulling, what could happen is you could tend to round your lower back. So try to avoid that. Try not to push through your legs for the beginning of the deadlift exercise. It's gonna help you preventing, it's gonna help to prevent that rounding. And finally, the final exercise where people round a lot is the leg press exercise because many people, they bring the plate too close to them and then their lower back it rounds and then that's more pressure. So what can you do to prevent that rounding for the leg press? Well, one thing you could be doing is recline the seat back more. If you're reclining the seat back more, you're not, you're not gonna be as likely to round your back if you're leaning back more. Another thing you could do is don't bring your knees past your hips. That because if you do that a lot, it's gonna likely cause your lower back to round. So, in other words, don't bring your hips past a 90 degree angle. Don't flex them past 90 degrees towards you. That's gonna help to prevent that rounding. So, those are just four exercises to be wary of that many people do. They do the ab crunch machine, deadlift squats, and leg press. So, I think that's gonna help you out what I just told you. Hopefully those tips help you. If you like this video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel, give me more ideas. And this has been Jeff once more, and I'll see you next time. I'll talk to you guys later.